Hi, I'm Scott Garvey, machinery editor at Grain News Magazine, and behind the camera again is Spencer Myers from Ag Dealer, our partner publication. We're on the grounds at the, the Ag and Motion Farm Show near Saskatoon, and it would be hard to deny that that machine behind me has been the talk of this event. The DOT, it's called, launched by Seedmaster, is making its global debut here at the show. And why is it the talk of the show? Because it is an autonomous vehicle implement platform, rather, designed to work in the field as a robot. Now, Seedmaster, the company that created this machine, will be, or already has, formed a new company called DOT, which will be the marketing and manufacturing name behind it. And it will see limited launch this coming spring, where some selected farmers will be using it in the field. I had a chance to talk to the inventor and owner of Seedmaster, Norbert Bojo, about how this came about. <coughs> what were the design parameters? What, did, what, were the, what was the goal you were after in, in getting this? Well, a broader goal, and what I was focusing on three years ago, was how do we get agriculture efficient again? Uh, uh, we, we're good at building bigger and bigger equipment and we're good at doing a good job for farmers but the bigger they got the less efficient they got overall and uh, part of that efficiency is when things go wrong uh, the whole farm is in jeopardy. You know if you have one large large cedar and it goes down for an hour or a day or a week uh, for whatever reason it's devastating to the farmer and so trying to get away from that and trying to get away from the the way farmers are tied into the trying to find that skilled labor that's diminishing uh, because of my generation that's trying to retire and and that generation's uh, yeah retiring and so started started to work more on the idea of an autonomous cedar but when I came up with the u-shaped platform that we have here that's when I got excited and, and I, I can't go a day without uh, doing some thought process related to it and, and filing for patents and all the other fun stuff that goes along. So what does the U-shape advantage give Well, you? it gives us the ability to load very quickly, as you saw here, uh, various types of equipment and having the center of gravity or the center of the weight uh, mounted directly onto the platform compared to a tractor we gain large efficiencies because on a tractor you have to weigh the tractor up uh, so that it has traction where here it utilizes the implement or the grain and the harvest cart as part of its weight traction power. So do you envision that this makes the tractor extinct for the most part for field operations like does it cover the full gamut of field operations or could it? I think it could. Uh, I've got a list of about 104 implements, uh, oh, wow. and it's basically everything you see on a farm that can, and and commercial and uh, or, uh, as well like uh, construction and mining. There's different applications. Uh, one of the ones I want to do soon is like a zoom boom. A lot of farmers have zoom booms, and we can build an or somebody can build an attachment for this very easily. And with the remote control, so there's two ways of operating. One is autonomous fully, and one is by a remote control like a joystick. And with a joystick control of equipment like this, it's actually much safer than trying to ride in a cab because you have full visibility of everything around and you can move to where you can see what you want to see. And uh, so I think there's applications in uh, construction as well. How many prototypes do you have? This is it. The, just one. The one? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so you're starting to manufacture out of the same plant in Regina? We will to start with. Uh, it'll evolve with time. And it's all the same people and, and all that kind of stuff to start with. But we'll eventually separate and uh, use a separate facility.